fantastic. We're going to have a really good time here tonight. You know, I've, just, I've got this feeling. I've been standing right at the back there. I've got to make some, oh, we're going to have a good time here tonight. <laughs> Please. <laughs> no. Seriously, we've got a great show after I've been on. We've got a tax inspector who's going to come up here and show us how to fill in a tax form. <laughs> after that, we've got a self-employed bricklayer from Liverpool who's going to show us how to fill in a tax inspector. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I was in Spain yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, I was in Spain, and I was behind these two scousers, they, 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 were, they were writing a letter home, I think, get, get, a couple of young reps writing a letter home, and one said to the other, he says, uh, hey lads, how do you spell Daryl? His mate says, you there? He says, how do you spell Daryl? His mate says, you there? He says, how do you spell Daryl? Like, um, dear ma, send me a pair of shoes, Daryl Fetney. <laughs> well. Thank you, music lovers. <laughs> Let's stay in that vein of sport. We'll join some racing tips now and commentary from one of the finest racing commentators, certainly in my opinion, over the last three and more decades. Let's join once again for the start of another race. Peter O'Sullivan. Well, good afternoon. Here we are for this big race here this afternoon. It's a ladies' invitation handicap chase for the Playtex Lift and Separate Cup. <laughs> Let's have a look now at the betting. It goes two to one. The Welly Bobs tend to do the time. My flies are open. That's my big tip. <laughs> they're in the stalls. They're under starters' orders. And they're away. Yes, so they're definitely off. I can smell them from here. First to show in front is the big favourite going very well indeed. And that's Jordan with a fine pair. I'm followed by, on the inside, by Julian Clary. Julian Clary on gender banda. And <laughs> he can't make his mind up. He's on the outside. No, he's on the inside. No, he's up his backside. They go... <laughs> Past the three pole from the first time as they go past the three pole going off the rails is Michael Barrymore on Hello Dandy and John Major on Edwina Curry. Here they come toward the first for the first time now. Here they come to the first fence. And the wall over the first fence. They race out toward the country now as they race to the country. It's over now to Michael O'Hare. And the stock the jockey on horseback. The long man travel up on the outside of that one now. They got about three, four lines to go. Three, four lines to go. That's about... <laughs> a hundred yards, I think, as they race toward it. Now it's back to Peter O'Sullivan. And the race of the man, 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 the Grazie, mille grazie, grazie. That was the Pope. <laughs> Thank you, or as Prince Charles would say... <laughs> I'm not an elephant man. I'm a custard cream. <laughs> that was Peter Beardsley. <laughs> oh, I said to me boss the other day, I said, man, I brought my jaw in four places. He said, well, you shouldn't go to those places. I don't suppose we have, but have you got any Geordies here? Yes. Oh, we got a Geordie. Oh, you can always tell a Geordie. <laughs> Can't tell him much. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> is there anyone by, by chance from Sunderland? Just wanted to see a fight. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've got to tell you this. Jordy Lad, what's your name? Malcolm. M Mackham? Malcolm. Sorry, he can't be a Jordy Lad and call himself Mackham. <laughs> Malcolm. Malcolm, one of my best friends, ladies and gentlemen, I've got to tell you, is a Jordy. And he sent his lad to elocution lessons. <laughs> he did. He did. He phoned up this elocution school. He said, Hello? Is that the headmaster? I'm thinking about war, Jackie. <laughs> I went to my land to talk probably like what you do. <laughs> the headmaster said, well, we have a simple solution for that. Send young Jackie to me for six weeks. That's all thereafter. He will be speaking eloquently with a vocabulary as indefatigable as my own. They said, why, champion? <laughs> Phone back six weeks later, he said, Hello, is that the headmaster? I'm feeling about war jockey. The headmaster said, Dead and yay, tat, and I about your jockey.